Got a comment coming in here from Spider Monkey. Cincinnati's getting screwed. That's not a typical group of five team and has some real NFL talent on that team. Well, there's NFL talent all over the group of five anyway. Hurricanes, Chris, good to see you. Getting even. Ohio State is never entitled. They get screwed by this stupid committee year in, year out. Uh, there's a little bit of that. That's uh, that's a, a valid complaint. I'm not going to say it's across the board true. 2014, Ohio State was given the benefit of the doubt. 2015, they were left out, but they didn't earn it. They didn't win a conference. 2016, they were given a huge benefit of the doubt in losing head-to-head to a team that was left out that won the conference championship. 2017 and 18, those are the two Ohio State teams that could have been selected for the playoff, and they were not. That's why this is an invitational. If you look at Ohio State football, and Ohio State's the classic example, they are the, the best example of this because <laughs> it's fascinating that up until 2019, the 2019 Ohio State team was a slam dunk in the playoff undefeated Okay. But from 2014 through 18, Ohio State was the team on the dividing line every year. 2014, they were the most controversial selection. They were at number four. 2015, they were maybe the best team in the country, but they lost the wrong game, and so they were left out. And they eventually finished number three in the country after they wiped out Notre Dame in the Fiesta Bowl. 2016, didn't win a conference. Were the first non-conference champion to get selected over a team that beat them head-to-head -head that won the conference, Penn State. 2017, they won the conference, but they were left out because of the bad loss. 2018, finished number three in the country, went 13-1, and one, rose, won the Rose Bowl, won the Big Ten Championship, and the Big Ten has been considered largely during most of this college football playoff era time as the second-best conference, but Ohio State left out. They've always been on that 4-5 line every year up until last year. And I'm sure you're going to clip your your part of it and put it on your channel if you haven't already done that. But I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to everyone watching right now and tell them all, as soon as you do do that, to go watch this. Because I'm sitting there, in, sitting here in Mobile, Alabama, and Mark Rogers, an Ohio State fan, is actually getting me somehow pumped up about Michigan football. <laughs> okay, the the speech you gave about how Michigan needs to get somebody who's going to go in there, look right in the camera, and say, we are coming for you, Ohio State. That, that was the most epic and glorious speech you ever, or, or almost anyone has ever given with regards to athletics. And it was coming from an Ohio State fan. <laughs> my favorite part of that. Well, I appreciate the, that. The only thing you left out, the, the only thing you left out, I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to upgrade your speech from a 99 to a 100 right now. Yep. The only thing you left out is that the coach needs to say, get what well, is it? While acknowledging Ohio State's dominance and accomplishments these last 20 years, here's what you can say. And, and you know what? We're Michigan, and we still own your ass. Okay? Uh, Michigan still owns the whole time series. No one seems to ever want to uh, uh, say that in the media when they say it's not a rivalry anymore because, you know, because Ohio State is the hammer, Michigan's the nail, or whatever, but because they're all too lazy to do a simple Google search and look at a Wikipedia article that, or, or, that, that, that says very clearly Michigan leads the series by seven games. Just imagine that. Uh, despite all of Ohio State has done these last 20 years, and it's been a wrecking ball, they still are way behind in the overall series. Yeah. That's all a Michigan head coach has to do is get up there and say, you know what? Guess what? Just in spite of everything you've done, we're still the big dogs here. You're still the little brother. I imagine if someone did that and then ended just like you, just like the way you said, with like a close up on their face. They think the camera closes right in and and we are coming for you. That would be glorious. We need someone to do that. Instead of taking their his players to the Vatican or the, you know, <laughs> to go see the wildebeests or something in Nairobi. <laughs> Michigan needs a head coach. College football needs a head coach in Michigan that will do that. That's my spiel. 
Yeah, it's always a fun conversation with Steve. So he always challenges me with some kind of topic. And uh, uh, I didn't know that that necessarily was all going to come out of my mouth when I started that, but it did. 